Hey everybody, this is Craig from Nine Volt Games, and uh, I'm gonna do just a little overview of DMC, um, or Dead My Cry, but we're for all intents and purposes we're gonna call it DMC. Um, and the only reason I'm doing this instead of doing a flat out review is because one, I just bought it yesterday, I did not beat it. Um, and two, every time I sign on, uh, I, I seem to get 50,000 messages. Are you playing the new Devil May Cry? How's the new Devil May Cry? So I'm going to just address it right here with the video. And if I know you on Xbox Live, that's because I'm doing the video right now. Um, <laughs> let's get into it. I'm not going to show you like gameplay and shit of it until I do the review because I already did the demo and I showed you the gameplay and it's, it's the same as the demo. Um... Two things I'm going to say. <clears throat> one, original Dante, the white-haired one, the one that we all love, uh, DLC is coming. It's already listed in Japan, so clearly it's going to come to America because I think we love that Dante a lot more. Um, so, if you guys want to wait for that. Devil May Cry. It's not the same. I mean, I, all right. When I did my Devil May Cry review, I said how much Devil May Cry like filled me with joy and got me excited to kill demons and made me do the demon voice. Like I was very, very excited um, for the old Devil May Cry's when they released the HD collection. I was not excited for this, and I told you when I did the demo, like I was so against it. And the new Dante just looks so terrible. He does. He looks terrible. Um, he even took. They even had him take a stab at the old look of Dante. Um, he rips a wig off his head, it's a white wig, and he's like, not in a million years. Um, and the thing I'll say about it is this. The gameplay is amazing. That was the second thing I wanted to say. Gameplay is amazing. This is the tightest Devil May Cry gameplay, period. And gameplay-wise, this is the best Devil May Cry, hands down. Uh, the story... I'm, I'm going to get back to the story. The, uh, the presentation of the game... Is, is really cool. The, like, the, the music... The music fits... The, I'm not saying the music didn't fit the old ones. The music went perfect with the old ones. This one's, like, Christ, Christ to come, like... It, it fits with it. The level design is great, and it's it's actually unique in comparison to the old, like, medieval, medieval gothic style. This one's, like, more modernized, um, you know, apocalypse style. And that's... I think that was... Uh, I think it actually works. Uh, a lot of reviewers complained about having, like, some of the levels being, like, dark in one area and then really, like, pastel bright. I love it. I think it's great. It actually, the levels in this game reminds me of the levels in, um, what game am I looking for? Uh, 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 uh El Shaddai, or El Shaddai, however you say it. Um, that's what it looks like. I know what the, you know what I'm trying to say? Just, like, the style of it. And then there was one point where you're running through a fun house, and then it instantly, like, took me back to the old Devil May Cry. Because he's running, and when he runs, he puts his head down, and it's just his sword going back and forth on his back. And when that, when he's doing that, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, this is Devil May Cry. Like, if you take his head off, <laughs> it's still Dante. And um, I think with the DLC, it will make a lot of, uh, will make the transition smoother for a lot of people. Um, I know I'm going to download that day one, and I'll start the game over again. I love the old Dante. Um, the only complaint I actually have about this new Dante is that I have two complaints. One's not super serious, one is. The voice actor is terrible. I think the voice actor is terrible. And that's because some things are done really well. I think the, the voice actor must be an asshole in real life. Because the asshole parts are done really well. The parts, like, when you're going through the fun house and, like, the dolls come out at you, if you know what I'm talking about. If not, like, a doll pops out and scares you, and he's just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't... It, sometimes what he's saying doesn't match the mood of what's going on, like, the way he's saying it, and it just sounds really corny. Um, and some of the narrative is kind of bad. But the story... Now I'll get into the story. Oh, no, this is the second point I didn't like about him. Um, is that they try to make him like the old Dante too much to the point where it's like, alright, you're just playing a guy playing Dante. Like, you're playing a guy pretending to be Dante. You're not actually Dante. But he's still a badass, if that makes sense. 
So, I mean, do I approve of this new Dante? Yeah, I do. Why not? Because it's not made by the old team. The old team went on. They left, actually, or they got let go. And now they work at Platinum, and they make Bayonetta. So, you know what? It's good, because we got another IP out of it. Um, this one, I can see them continuing on with. Hopefully, they the next game go back and do another Devil May Cry, maybe remake Devil May Cry 1. That would be epic, using the old actual Dante. I don't know how what they would even call it at that point, because there'd be three Devil May Cries. But <laughs> um, the story, the story isn't is Devil May Cry, but it isn't. You know, you have your you have your Dante, you have your Virgil, you have the you have their mother, you have Sparta, you have the clearly the demon who wants to pull Dante back, um, and then you have the girl who's there to help you. But I have a feeling we'll double cross you in the end because that's totally supposed to be Trish. Um, <laughs> I do. I that wasn't a spoiler. I actually don't know about it because I said I haven't beat that yet. But um, that's what it feels like. It's gonna come down to. So it feels like it's it's just pretty much a reface of the first game story, except you know if someone's like they didn't have Virgil. No, they had Neil Angelo. That was that was Virgil. Um, Angle. I think I said his name wrong. Whatever. The way that it's presented is actually less of a Devil May Cry style and uh, more of a Constantine. Like, if they had called this game Constantine and made his jacket black, people would have bought it and been like, oh my god, this is a proper Hellblazer game. It actually probably would have destroyed Devil May Cry <laughs> if they had just called it Hellblazer and they released it. Um... But yeah, man, I approve it. The game is actually really good. So any of you who are having reservations and you're doing it solely because Dante doesn't look the same, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, and I, f I, f I mean, like, don't do it as in, like, don't be like that. Just buy the game. You will enjoy it. On top of that, if you go to Best Buy this weekend and you buy Devil May Cry, you will get Resident Evil 6 for $10 brand new. Just put a throw on that in there. Um... The game is funny, too, by the way. Yes. And I could totally pull him off in cosplay. I could totally do it. And I would rock it. <laughs> and I want that. But uh, he is a lot more... Uh, that's another one. He is a lot more vulgar than the original Dante. Like, the game starts off with him having a, th a threesome with two strippers. <laughs> and he's ass naked in the beginning. So... It's kind of like they took that, like, oh, gay Dante, gay Dante, gay Dante, and they were like, oh, yeah, here's gay Dante, here's him fucking two women. <laughs> so I actually, I respect that. I, I honestly think that is why that was thrown in there. Like, hands down, there's no doubt about it. I don't care what anybody says at this point. Um, but, yeah, like, I'm guilty of it. When they announced this first Dante, I was so pissed. Someone put it up on the 9 Games face, uh, face, wow. Someone put it up on the 9 Volt Games Facebook page, and I was like, this is horrible. Who is this? Blah, blah, blah. Not in my game. And uh, you know what that is the equivalent of? That's the equivalent of people in this. I jumped on the bandwagon, and I, I just talked shit about something that I actually had no hands-on experience with. And um, that ended up backfiring in my face, because this game is epic. And I, I, I'm... 100% sincere when I tell you that gameplay wise this is the best Devil May Cry um, story wise I can't say anything yet and like as much as I care about the characters this is not the best one the old ones are actually I would just fall, come out and say Devil May Cry 2 I mean <laughs> that was a joke <laughs> Devil May Cry 3 is the best but definitely is like controls blah 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 I cannot deny and it, it kills me to say it because I have to eat my own words but this is the best experience you're going to have with Devil May Cry in terms of gameplay okay that took a lot I'm starting to tear up I'm embarrassed <laughs> you guys need to buy this game it is really good and I will be reviewing it by the end of the week thank you guys for watching